Hello guys, today I want to show you three eloquent tips based on one query that I've been working with. So in our Laravel daily I decided to repurpose the old popular tweets and I've downloaded the tweets from Twitter analytics into CSV and then imported it into the database into a model. And this is how I defined the popular tweets with 50 or more likes to repurpose to retweet later. Here in my Tinkerwell, I've launched a query with empty collection as a result. And tip number one, you can easily see what's the query under the hood, the SQL query. Instead of get, just do to raw SQL like this. We launch and we have the SQL query here. And why this query is important? For other two topics that I wanted to discuss. Topic number two is a quick tip, latest. Did you know that you can do, instead of doing order by time descending like this you can do latest and if you don't specify the parameter of column by default latest will be like this by created at descending but you can provide any column you want like time for example which is in case of my database it's a timestamp and also there's an opposite oldest oldest time if we comment that out we refresh and we have order by time ascending. So latest and oldest are just shortcuts to order by. And the third thing that I wanted to point out is this where sub condition callback function. So we need to query the tweets with 50 likes and those that contain Laravel tip or PHP tip. So the logical mistake that I see often developers make is combining all those where's into one list. Like for example, you would have where likes, where this or that, like this. Let's just format it properly, where, where or where, instead of these lines, something like this. It's logical if you read it in English language, we have tweets with likes more than 50 and tweet text this or that. But if we run that query, see this sign. If we rerun, that sign has disappeared which means that these will be grouped together with and condition because that will be a priority over this or which actually means incorrect results in this case whatever tweet contains php tip will be included in the list doesn't matter if it has 50 likes or not so if you have and or in one eloquent statement be very careful about grouping them and the actual final query which should be this if we launch again this is important for grouping and to do that you can specify a callback function to the query with more conditions under the hood and that would add those brackets to the sql query so yeah three quick tips from the same eloquent query and i know i've mentioned those things separately in separate videos in the past but i think with those practical examples it's worth repeating some of the tips from a different angle or for people who haven't seen the older videos. So subscribe to the channel if you want to get more tips or if you want to get longer tutorials and courses, visit laraveldaily.com. There's plenty of material there to learn. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.